Kelly D and today I'm going to share with you a quick, delicious and refreshing recipe from the beet. We're going to be making beet and ginger juice. Now beets are great for increasing stamina. So if you happen to be a person who loves going to the gym, you want to eat healthy, this is a drink that I highly recommend. So let's go over the ingredients. We have three large beets, one knot of ginger, sugar to taste, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Now this recipe is really easy. First, we're going to peel our beets. Now I'm using a vegetable peeler because a vegetable, a vegetable peeler will just barely skim the top of the fruit or vegetable. And you know the best part of any fruit or vegetable is right under the skin. But if you happen to be using a knife, please don't go too deep because we don't want to remove all of that goodness from our vegetable. Now beets are known for leaving a red stain. So if you don't want to have red stained hands, I also suggest using food gloves at this stage. Next, we're going to put cut our beets into some small cubes. It's easier to put them into the blender or Vitamix or whatever you're using to juice them once you cut them into some small cubes. Now we're going to prepare our ginger and on the fresh side. I'll just chop the ginger up roughly. Now I don't like my drink to be too strong because ginger leaves a really strong aftertaste. But if you like a really strong ginger, then you can add some more. We're going to add all of the ingredients now, the beets and the ginger, to our Vitamix blender and we're going to mix. Our beet and ginger drink. I can just smell the ginger. It is so strong. But if you look closely, you will see how thick it is. See how very thick it is. So we're going to strain it now. Then we're going to sweeten. I would have extracted all of the juice from the beet. So we have just this pulp remaining. Now this is really good stuff. So we can use this again. So I'll put this in the fridge and in a probably another couple of hours, we can add it back to the blender, add some more water and we can get some more beet juice. Or if you have animals, you can also use this for the animal food. This is not to be discarded. This can be used. Now we're gonna go ahead to finish the drink. So we're gonna add it back to our Vitamix blender. It looks gorgeous, deep, beautiful, rich color. We are gonna sweeten to taste, even though beets has its own level of sweetness. You know, we like to add a little more sugar to it. So that part is up to you. The amount of sugar that you want, you decide. I'm gonna add just a little bit of sugar and we're gonna mix it with the blender. Then we're gonna strain for the final time then you'll get ready to taste this refreshing and nutritious drink. Now we'll get ready to strain for the final time. Then chill and taste. It smells so good. I'm definitely smelling that ginger. It is strong for this drink. As I said, if you want it to be stronger, then you can add some more. If you don't want it as strong, add a little less. The color is beautiful. Now let's taste. It's so light and refreshing because we would have strained it twice it has removed all the extra pulp, so the drink is so light. 
And what is such a surprise is that there is no strong aftertaste. And I did use a lot of ginger, but there's no strong aftertaste. So if you want it to be stronger, be sure to add some more, but totally delicious. Beet and ginger drink. Now you need to try it. If you have enjoyed this beet and ginger drink, I want you to look over here, see some of my other beverages. And once you've watched them all, click the button below, subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you're notified every time I post a video. And remember to leave me a comment. I love hearing from you.